When we're inside, snuggle in with the visions of sugar plums in our head. Out in our gardens, the voles are ravishing. They're there and they want to feed on something. And usually what they go after are tubers, if the ground is not frozen, or any seed material that may be on the ground in your garden. They will also go after that nice tender bark around the trees. And these voles can do a lot of damage in the winter. They don't hibernate. So while you're inside, going through your catalog, looking for new plants for next season, next spring, the voles are out there eating all the plants that are left and still alive, but dormant in your garden. They can do a lot of damage. So we need to be constant if they're out there. So on a nice halfway decent day in the winter, go out in your garden, look around for the vole runs. These runs will even be under the snow cover. Look for their holes. They're active even when it's below zero, but underground, and they come up in the day when it gets just above zero. What they'll do is they'll eat any of those tubers, any of those roots of plants that have starches. They'll also girdle your fruit trees. So look around your fruit trees, whether they're flowering fruit or whether they're actual uh, edible fruit trees. They will go after all of them. And the way to get rid of them, whether it's any time of the year, is to use a multi-catch trap. These work in the winter as well as the summer. You can set these traps along these runs that you find, preferably on days when it's not below freezing or not snowing, and put, just put a little bird seed or grass seed around the entrance of the, the multi-trap. They'll go in there and they'll get trapped. These traps will hold up to 15 or 20 voles. They will get in there overnight, and they usually follow each other. The more you get, the lower the population will be causing damage. Now, if you can catch them several nights in a row, you probably get most of the population causing damage in your garden. Now, if you feed the birds, be cognizant where that bird seed goes that the birds don't feed on above the ground. If that bird seed is falling, clean up as much as possible. It'll make it so much easier to catch them in your traps. What'll happen in the traps is, is that they'll go in there for a little seed, but if there's seed everywhere, they're less likely to go in the traps. You can also use snap traps such as these. These snap traps with a little molasses, because it's very cold, remember, made into balls of seed, you can catch them at any time. Now put those along the runs. Now once you get them trapped, if you leave them in the trap overnight, they will die of exposure due to the coldness. So remember, be humane when you worry about them. You can translocate them to another location where they're not going to cause damage, but you need to get them within six hours after you trap them to translocate them. So remember, if you trap them and it's cold out, you need to check those traps very often.